Hi, this is Gay Lynn, Design Team member with Unity Stamp Company. Today I have a spring card for you. It's a thinking of you card or a sympathy card, and it has lots of techniques in it. One of them is stenciling with Unity brand stencils and glitter glitz gel and a little bit of watercolor with stamping. So I'm beginning with a Unity Stamp Company kit called Easter Lily Blessings, and it's uh, pre-stamped on watercolor paper. And here's the sentiment with that. This kit is filled with lots of sentiments. So this is the one I chose for this card, and I'm using the Heart Confetti Stencil by Unity, and I'm going to use that for adding the Glitz Gel. I have Adhesive Gems, a Stencil Pal, Pixie Spray, and Gina K Designs Glitter Glitz Gel in Turquoise C. I'm using Prima Marketing watercolor tubes and watercolor brushes. I have my Creative Time uh, Thank You and Frame Dies. I'm using by Ranger a plastic craft mat and watercolor paper. Then I have assorted uh, watercolor brushes and a jar of water for blending some of the colors and mixing. So I pre uh, mix some of the watercolors and set them aside for uh, later. So for now, to get ready for stenciling, I'm misting a little bit of the pixie spray right onto one of the sides of the stencil. And then I'm gonna lay that tacky side right over the stamped panel or the panel that you wanna add stenciling to. So um, this is a light tackiness. Um, it will it will um, keep the card in place or the panel in place for when you want to add anything, any um, any medium to those to the stencil. So in this case, I am going to mix uh, mix up that new jar of glitz glitter, and I'm using a spatula because the areas that I want to cover are small. So I'll use the uh, stencil pal later on when I want to pick up some color and and blend. Uh, some of that in or uh, press some of that in towards the bottom part but on the top part on the sides I'm using just a smaller spatula to add that paste and then at the bottom I will add some um, uh, thicker areas of the paste and then I will blend it out or mix it in press it in I mean to with the uh, stencil pal at the bottom and then that stencil pal is great for also picking up any excess of that paste. And most of this paste will be reusable if you just put it back into the container. And so you press down with the stencil pal and you just pull and it fills in those uh, little tiny hearts just perfectly. And so, um, you know, you just do this all the way around to pick up any of that excess paste. If you have a larger area, um, you don't have to be so delicate with it. So here we go. I'm just adding some of that excess right back into the to the um, jar. It's very important that you clean anything that comes in contact with this paste. All of your tools and everything uh, clean with soapy water um, when you're finished, right when you're finished with that stenciling. And set aside your panel to dry at least half an hour or more. Um, sometimes I heat set very carefully just to speed up that process. And so now I pre-mixed, you know, I pre-mixed some colors that I want. I wanted to make a turquoise color, and then I use yellow. So to begin, just use uh, more water than usual. Just dilute it and uh, start lighter. And um, you can always add color later, another color layer. Um, I recommend heat setting between the different layers just so you get more depth and... Uh, you know, you can add dark, you can come in with more darker, you can take away if it's still wet. You can just dab, dab with a, a paper towel or a dry brush and it will remove some color while it's still wet. But I'm speeding this up because I want the main focus to be the stenciling today. So I heat set that final uh, bit of watercolor and this image is very detailed so it doesn't really need a lot of color. It's just very minimal. Now in the background, um, I just, add a little bit of diluted pink color just for a little bit of interest and a little bit of color for that background. And then I heat set again and um, I add this panel right onto the card base with a few adhesive pearls and the sentiment. And um, 
it really doesn't need much else. It's already got a lot going on, but I really like it. I, it really sparkles much more in person than it does here. But I, I hope you like this, and I hope you take a moment to like and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel and share the video. Have a great day.